Hey guys, what's up? Frank Rich here from Rebuilt Recovery. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about building self-confidence, but more specifically, how can you build the self-confidence in order for you to successfully get over your porn habit and masturbation addiction? You see, I talk to guys every single week and I ask them, what is the biggest struggle? What's the biggest challenge that you're facing right now in your struggle, in your journey to overcome porn addiction? What's the number one thing that's holding you back and more often than not, the guys uh, that give me an answer, their, their response is dealing with the guilt and shame of, of when I relapse. And stick with me here for a minute because if you are feeling the guilt, if you're feeling the shame, if you're feeling the social anxiety of hiding your habits and, and hiding your masturbation and hiding your pornography use, if you're at the point where you're feeling this, stick with me because I think that this video can hopefully lead you to a breakthrough. Because when I hear a guy that is struggling with shame or he's struggling with the guilt or those feelings associated with his pornography and, and masturbation habits and addictions, what I see is I see a guy lacking in self-confidence. He doesn't truly believe in, in who he is. He doesn't have faith behind who he is. Who can he present himself into the world? Because he knows that there's this secret life going on behind the scenes. It doesn't matter what level of degree you're at guys that are just consuming it at a large amount and, and guys that are that are struggling with it at a much deeper issue that are that are truly in bondage and, and in slavery to to these types of, of addictions. I know that, that you guys are out there and, and, and I hope that, that this is helping you. So how can you can start to build and continue to build the self-confidence? Well that so that you don't feel those feelings and, and guilt because what a relapse is 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 ultimately it's a lack of discipline. It's 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 a lack of belief in yourself. It's a lack of that confidence that the path that you're on is the path that is going to lead you to the ultimate destination. Like that's if if you truly believe that the path to recovery that you were following, if you truly believed inside of you that life without porn is better than the one that you're currently living, then a relapse wouldn't occur. You would have the discipline. You would have the self confidence you would have the self-belief to continue to go down that path of abstinence or, or go down that path of rebooting or recovery or just living life without those guiltful and shameful feelings of pornography use so you're asking what what do i need to do if, if i'm lacking self-confidence what is the path what is the process for me in order to continue to build some self-confidence and ultimately what what i believe a lack of self-confidence is it's 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 a lack of keeping promises to yourself when i when i see somebody that or when i meet somebody or when i speak to somebody that is lacking self-confidence in who they are i instantly know that that is not a person that has kept promises to themselves here's what i mean stick with me for a minute i'm setting an alarm clock in the morning what time i'm gonna wake up whatever time it is i've predetermined i've i've made a promise to myself by hitting that alarm button to go off at a specific time that, that that is a promise I'm going to keep to myself instantly. The minute that you hit snooze, if this is you, if, if you do not wake up instantly at the first sound of that alarm, if you hit the snooze button, you have now not kept a promise to yourself. If you made a promise to yourself that today you're not going to look at pornography, you're not going to masturbate. If by 6 p.m., by 7 p.m., the urges are thriving and you give in and you go watch pornography, that is a person that has not kept promises to himself. If you said, I'm going to go on the diet, I'm going to follow a strict macro plan, I'm going to eat under X amount of calories, I'm going to make sure that I train five days a week, I'm going to go on 30-minute walks three times a week, I'm going to spend 20 minutes every morning meditating. All of these little habits, these little routines, these little rituals that we say we're going to do, all these are, these are promises that we're making to ourselves. That's the first step, but actually following through, actually executing, actually keeping those promises is more important than setting the promises. So the process here is twofold because you have to have a plan. You have to know what it is you're going to do. You have to create your life. You have to envision a life without pornography. Who is the man that you can be? What are you able to accomplish? What are all the hopes, dreams, aspirations, desires that truly speak to who you are? What are those? What's the plan for you to, to achieve them? But secondly, most important, building that confidence comes 
comes down to holding the promises that you keep to yourself, executing on the plan, executing on the promises that you made to yourself. So you're out there, you're watching this video right now, struggling, Frank, I'm dealing with guilt, shame, frustration, anxiety, all these feelings, guys, I've been there. I know what it feels like to walk into a room and question what is everybody thinking about me, questioning if they truly knew the real me, what would they think, what would they say? It's because you are questioning. It's because you are not confident in the person that you are. And, and, and building self-confidence comes down to keeping the promises that we make to ourselves. Guys, this one is powerful. This, 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 this one is real. This one can truly transform and change your life if you actually take action on it and implement it. So if everything that you're doing, if, if, if the, the, the scripture work, if, um, if the mindset work, if the therapy sessions, if all the other practices and principles and, and, and approaches that you've taken to quit pornography keep leading you to the point of relapse. Remember, relapse is simply a, a lack of belief in the process that we're, that we're going on. We haven't truly um, ingrained in ourselves the belief in the success of the program because we're lacking in the self-confidence and we need to improve our self-confidence. We have to continue or begin to and then continue to keep the promises that we make to ourselves. Guys, like I said, this one's powerful. If you take an action on it, if you implement it, if you start doing this tomorrow, tomorrow, first thing in the morning, what are you going to do? What are you going to do to change your life starting tomorrow? So that's it, guys. I hope you did find value in this video. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, guys, what are your thoughts? You know, what, what kind of videos um, do you want to see? What are the challenges? What are the struggles? Um, we're, we're pivoting the, the channel here. We're dedicating it more to, to this topic, to, to, to these style of videos, helping you overcome your pornography addiction, uh, pornography addiction through, through the power of faith and fitness. So let me know what you guys want. Guys, Frank Chris Rebuild Recovery. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, there's a free report, Seven Steps to Living Life Without Pornography. First link in the bio right there. Just hand your email address. We'll send a report over to you guys right away. But other than that, guys, thank you so much. Remember, take action. Keep the promises you make to yourself. Ultimately, change your life. Overcome your porn addiction. I'll see you guys on the other side.